I just got out of surgery. I'm in so much pain. I'm getting discharged. This is my incisions. My stomach is swollen. But I'm gonna talk to you when I get home. Because my phone's on 1%. Santa, tell me if you're It is literally like 3.43 in the freaking morning and I cannot sleep. I'm in so much freaking pain. I tried to sleep upstairs, but I couldn't. I had to come back downstairs to the room. I'm still out of breath, y'all. This is day one post-op of my gallbladder removal. I'm exhausted. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. But yeah, let me try to get some sleep or I don't know. I don't know at this point. Because my next time I take my medication is at 6 in the morning. And y'all probably hear the cat. He's in the basement. Um, So he don't be jumping on my stomach. Y'all, it's 5.06 in the morning, and I still have not went to back to bed. I got this freaking cough. I can't stop coughing, and it hurts every time when I cough. I'm literally just on Instagram, scrolling on Instagram. Uh, just catching up on my, some of my YouTube videos <coughs> from other people and stuff like that. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. My man is upstairs sleeping. He got to work tomorrow morning. Yo. I'm freaking starving. I'm starving. <clears throat> My stomach. Thirty-three. Ollie slept for like two hours. Thank you. 
my so much pain. Oh. Yo, it hurts to get up. Oh my god, it hurts so bad to freaking get up. Oh my god. Yo, my stomach is still swollen. This is right here. They cut me open here. And my belly button. And right here. <sighs> my stomach is mad swollen. All oh, right here is swollen. All oh, right here is swollen. I sure is so bad. fucking die. Even bend over to pick anything up. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. <coughs> Let me turn on the seat. 
late, y'all. Why my landlord got something in the mail and it was open. And it's talking about to rebuild, um, rebuy your house at the place I live now. Somebody from Nashville, Tennessee wants to buy his house and rebuild it. Bro, like, no, baby, no, no, no. My stomach is fucking killing me. <sighs> Y'all, today is going to be a long freaking day. I'm going to tell you this now. Because it's only like probably like 840, 850. Oh, God, my stomach. I'm in so much pain, you bro. I can't even sit up straight because my body hurts so bad. I have to like bend over. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all know throughout the day how I feel. Like I said, this is day one of post ops of my surgery. And I feel like I still got hit by a fucking truck. Y'all can hear the puppy upstairs fucking whining. I can't do nothing about it. I can't take him out. I can't literally bend. I can't nothing. So he's going to just literally have to freaking be whining all day. And yeah, let me sit down because I can barely breathe. So yeah. Y'all, I'm in so much freaking pain. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm in so much pain. I literally ate toast and gin and drank some ginger ale and eating saltine crackers. And my stomach is in pain. It's in pain and I feel like I'm out of freaking breath. And everything. But, y'all, yesterday was freaking wild. Like, yesterday was so wild. Ugh. I went to the hospital yesterday in the morning. They didn't take me back to surgery until like, I believe like 11, 11 something. I didn't get done with the surgery until probably like two o'clock um, when they um, was getting me ready for the surgery. They put like the IV, they put something in my stomach um, so I don't get blood clogs and Yo, that thing stung so bad when it went in my stomach to get um so it could prevent me from getting blood clots. And then before the lady was giving me another medication, she came by to check my wristband to see my name and my birthday. And she was like, what's your name? And I told her my name and my birthday. And she's like, well, hold up. This is not matching. None of the, none of the stickers on the charts the chart she had of mine wasn't matching. Somebody switched out the stickers. So they end up mixing up somebody's information with my chart. And I was about to get basically somebody else's medication. Y'all, this hurt right here. Yeah, yeah. They said it was from um the tubes going down my throat. I don't know what they did with it. But... It felt like they punched me in my throat. I mean, punched me in my side because it hurt so bad. But that's basically what it happened in the beginning. And then towards when I was going into the OR, OR they was transferring me to another bed. And I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all hear this dog. Um, transfer me, transferring me over to another bed. And... They started giving me the anesthesia. My body was refusing the anesthesia. So they kept hiring and hiring and hiring and hiring the dose of the anesthesia. To the point that the lady had to take her hand and with the mask and squish it down onto my face twice. And had me try to do deep breaths and stuff like that. Because my body kept rejecting it. And it was like they were talking to me. And I hear them talking to me. But it's like I couldn't respond. 
And I was like, yo, like, what is going on? And then out of nowhere, I just know, like, I was just knocked out. Like, and then once the surgery, the procedure was done, they was transferring me over back to the the other bed. I know I woke up and I was like, <laughs> I, I cursed them out because <laughs> I was in so much pain. I was like, fuck bitch <laughs> and I was like I apologize to them after because I was like yo but they tried to think and then I guess they dropped me and I felt it in my stomach and I was like you fucking bitch like and it was so painful y'all and then I went to back to the recovery room and I was on and off sleeping there and there was a whole bunch of people just being loud and annoying. And it's just like, patience, yo, patience. And I'm like, I don't understand why y'all put a whole bunch of people into our same recovery room. And they're just being loud and, and not loud and shit like that. And it's just like, bro, like, I didn't get it. But, yeah, they came in. I was in pain, y'all. I was in pain when I woke up. I was in pain. She's like, what's wrong? She gave me some pain medication. And then I ended up falling back to sleep. And then I woke up again. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, in pain. And she's like, I just gave you something. I'm like, bitch, give me something else. Because this shit ain't fucking working. Because I've been taking this Tylenol. No, the ibuprofen. And it does not work. I don't know what it is. But this ibuprofen does not work for nothing. And, yo. I don't know. But I'm in so much pain. And my boyfriend had to leave to work today. So I'm literally home by myself today. And trying to manage everything by myself today. Because I could barely get up, y'all. Without being in pain. I could barely walk up the steps without getting dizzy. I could... I'm out of breath. Um. Yeah, stuff like that. Like... It's just, I don't know. But I wish I didn't, like, get the surgery done. I wish they had gave me, like, another option of trying to get, like, the stone of the gallbladder removed or something. Because, <clears throat> but the doctor did say when he removed my gallbladder, um, there was a big stone in my gallbladder that was causing me to have so much pain and my surgery took a, li a little bit longer because my stomach was inflamed from the night before. Because the night before, I was in pain for seven hours, y'all. Seven hours, I was in pain. I couldn't sleep. I was just having bad stomach pains and stuff like that. And it's like, bro, I still feel like I'm, I'm in pain. I feel like I'm shit. I feel like shit. I don't, like, I don't know, y'all. But I'm going to try to relax today the best I can because it's just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then I kept telling them, I can't breathe. Like, I can't breathe. And they were like, well, we already gave you albuterol treatment and stuff like that. And I was like, well, give me the fuck another one. Like, because I have asthma. And the lady going to talk about, well, do you have asthma? Obviously, I told y'all in my chart I had asthma. That's why when I go to get my, my wisdom teeth removed at the dentist, they don't give me anesthesia to put me to sleep because I have asthma. So, I wasn't, under, I wasn't really understanding why uh, they use anesthesia to put me to sleep. Because my, my dentist don't even give me anesthesia because... It's make um it's hard for you to breathe. But y'all I hope this this recovery is fast and stuff like that because my stomach is still blown up from the gas they put inside my stomach. It's freaking swollen. I could barely move. This is just horrible, y'all. Like, this is horrible. Uh, I don't know. 
But anyways, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. I'm trying to go to try to take a nap or something. Probably try to sleep day away <laughs> at this point. But I'll see y'all in my next video. Hopefully, I'm more hype, energetic, and myself. This pain. pain. Oh my god. Yeah. Love y'all. Bye. Santa, tell me if you're really.